we're on our third day of the interior framing. Uh, you saw before we've got uh, the curb walls up for the loft, uh, for the floor to set on, the LBL. Got all of our floor system framed and our subfloor down for our loft. And today we're going to be working on all the curb walls and interior walls up here in the loft. So we've got all of our curb walls put down, we've got our curb plates already cut. Uh, we're going to be framing for, there's a bathroom up here on the loft, so we'll be framing the interior walls for that. Okay, well as you can see, this wall up here is very similar to the one we did downstairs. It's actually the exact same. We got uh, eight foot studs uncut. We got a double uh, plywood bottom plate, a double plywood top plate, and um, we're gonna mount it to the wall, to the grain bin wall with the uh, metal L clips like we did before for Plum. I gotta build another curved header for a door. There's a door that goes out to the uh, roof balcony and it's stacked literally right over the top of the other door going into the bedroom. So, getting ready to build that right now. Okay, well we got all of our curved walls framed upstairs. Uh, now we got to figure out our bathroom layout. So I'm gonna get this figured out, laid out, and snap on the floor. Then we'll frame these uh, bathroom walls upstairs in the loft. Upstairs, all framed. Uh, all the curb walls are up, framed, braced to the uh, grain bin with our clips. Uh, the bathroom walls are all framed. I'm kind of leaning towards, I may not put a ceiling in that bathroom. I think I like the idea of looking up and seeing our uh, finished ceiling to the grain bin, so I'm not quite sure on that yet. Joe's getting us all cleaned up up here and swept up. You can see we put a temporary uh, handrail just so nobody falls off over there. I think our next move, we're going to uh, work on these tall curb walls, uh, trying to get to where we can get the stairs up so we can walk up and down between the two floors easier. Okay, well we're back on the uh, inside framing here. Today we're going to be doing the, uh, the tall walls. They're 18 and a half foot tall. Our studs are 12 inches on center, so I've got uh, 18 foot two befores here. Nathan's uh, bringing them all over and uh, because you don't getting ready to start cutting them all. Had to bring in scaffolding. So you can see here to get up uh, high enough to run this wall. So this is a tall one here.
ourselves another day. As you can see here, we have to cut off the steel ladder that was bolted on. Uh, could unbolt it, but I want to leave the bolts in, so we're just going to cut it off. Uh, it's right there where we got to frame a window opening. So we're going to finish up the tall cur curved walls today. Uh, we got our door openings and window openings, our curved headers we got to put in here. So we'll get that done. As soon as we're done with that, uh, we're going to roll right into framing our curved stairs. special guest with us today <laughs> Riley Pennington he is a driller extraordinaire here he's only got about a hundred holes to drill <laughs> Riley's getting our uh, steel pre-drilled for our openings <laughs> 